Hey guys, Mike here. I have my DeepMind 12D module up here on my desk, and I'm going to copy some patches to my Windows computer. So let's zoom in here and open up the DeepMind app right here. And I'm going to go to settings. And my DeepMind is USB to the computer. And uh, I'm going to boot it up, and then it should appear in these two windows. So here it comes. Boom, DeepMind 12D. I go to the Preset Manager. And this is on Bank C, so let's go to Bank C. Juno Pad, Juno Pad. Program Global gives me the program list. I'm going to make a backup of this bank because I'm going to mess around with it. Now, as you see, the programs are on both sides here, and what's what? Well, these are both from the DeepMind, but I find it easier if I designate the left side to the hardware and the right side to the computer. So I'm going to make a new bank right here, and let's click in this field and press Enter. Now we can type something. Um, backup. C and enter again, and that is going to be backup C bank. Now <laughs> it doubled here, so I, I have to designate C. Let's go to C, and I'm going to copy it to this new bank. Copy to right, and I'm going to fast forward through this. All right, so now this backup C bank has the C bank programs and that'll be in the DeepMind folder so let's look and see where that folder's at i'm going to gear sluts and bill posted this test bank here so let's download that and show in folder this will be in my downloads folder and uh, it's a zip so i'm going to extract it and this is what you would do like if, if someone sold you a voice bank so i'm going to browse Okay, so I go to my local disk, C, and users, my name, and app data, roaming, and we're going to look for FAT12 right here. That was the DeepMind's original name. And here's banks. So uh, actually, I'm going to select the banks folder there and extract there it is test bank right there so let's downsize that and gear sluts now test bank should be at the bottom here but it's not so what i'm going to do I, i'm not sure how to refresh this maybe someone can leave a comment uh, i just turn it off and then back on and my Let's see, DeepMind is still hooked up to it. Now, back to the presets, test bank. Now, it's there it is. And let's see what Bilb gave us. Default programs. Bilb, how could you? Well, we're going to look at my C bank over here. And now, you can do different things. Like, you can just copy a single program. So, down here are the program copy and up here is bank copy so if i wanted to do just one program i would select a, a destination here and then copy to left so now that default program goes to my deep mind copy to left so i have two default programs here and i don't see it because i have to switch the banks and there they are default program both of them so we can copy the whole bank if we want to left so this is programs this is bank let's copy to left and i'm going to fast forward okay so you saw the deep mind was receiving the sysx uh these default programs again i got to change the bank there they are we're loaded with default programs my my c bank is gone that was um 
a bank I bought. It was the analog, classic analog. So here it is. There's the Juno pad. So if I want the classic analog to my C bank, or, or A bank for that matter, but I'm going to copy it to C. Again, copy to left, receiving SysX, and let's fast forward. Okay, so I'm going to switch banks, C to B and back. There, the Juno pad. Now, this analog audio guy, he, uh, he only does 100 programs, so 101 through 128 are blank. So let's look at that here. There they are. So there's 101. And what you can do is, let's see, Pulse FM Edition. Now this was also a download on that same uh, DeepMind thread from Major Oscillator, Major OSC. And uh, these were free sounds he had. And what I do is I just copy his sounds over here. So you can copy from whatever bank you want and uh, arrange these sounds how you want. So again, this is bank copy down here. I mean, I, I'm sorry, program copy and bank copy up here. So programs at the bottom. Um, it's so easy to do copy to left with the bank and erase your bank. So make sure if you have original sounds, you back them up, you, you create your bank. So let's look one more time at the folder. So start this over PC. This is a better view of it. So I go to local disc C and there's a point to this uh, users, Mike, uh, here's the app data. Now, what I wanted to point out is view. When I first did this, app data was not uh, able to be seen because it was a hidden item. So this checkbox, hidden items, if it's not checked, you don't see it. So check hidden items. There's app data. So if you got to the end of this video to find that out, I'm sorry, I should have said it at the beginning. So app data, roaming, uh, let's look for the FAT12 with the P, banks, and here's my backup C. Uh, again, the test bank, you can take any of these uh, SysX files and um, copy it to another folder, upload it. Um, so it's a good way to share your own sounds. So I hope that helps.